What's up guys, I'm student Dr. Thompson, here with a review of the best question bank for Comlex Level 1. Stick around. So in a recent video I made, I mentioned five board prep resources that I was going to use. I also mentioned that I didn't know which question bank was best. And I'd like to address that now. Most of you mentioned that if you're studying for USMLE Step 1, use UWorld. I think that's a universal truth. Everyone who studies for the USMLE, UWorld is the best. But what's the UWorld equivalent for the Comlex? I think it's ComQuest. In fact, a lot of people think that. ComQuest was recommended to me by third years and fourth years. It was mentioned on Student Doctor Network, on Reddit. It really is a legitimate um, question bank. ComQuest is a little bit different from other question banks. Whereas I felt like some question banks were merely diagnostic tools, I felt like it was mostly a learning tool. And, and that's what a, que a good question bank should be. ComQuest has fewer questions than any other question bank that I found. Meaning, like there were 1,700 ComQuest questions. ComBank has like 2,400 questions. So ComQuest prides themselves in, in having fewer questions that are higher quality. And the reason why I feel like ComQuest is, is better used as a learning tool than a diagnostic tool, because the question descriptions are really fleshed out. I mean, there, there's a, at least a half page to a full page of text for every question in their question bank. And that means that as you're going through the questions, every question that you got right, every question that you got wrong, you should read all the descriptions for A, B, C, D, and E. In that way, you're not only studying that question, but you're getting perspective of how that question could be asked from 20 different angles. So some pros and cons. You can set any number of questions in a question set. Where other question banks allow, limit you to like 50 questions, ComQuest allows you to do tons of questions. So if you just want to sit down and do 100 questions, you can. Second, answers to question sets aren't given away as you study for the next question. In a question set where you have one stem for three different questions on that same passage, when you read the description for question one in tutor mode, the answers for question two and three aren't given away when you read the description for question one. I felt like that was a small detail, but it was really helpful because other question banks, I'd, I'd go through it in tutor mode and immediately read the answer to question one before seeing question two and three in the set. And I'd get all the answers for questions two and three, so I'd, I, of course I'd get two and three right, but would I really have gotten them right? I would like to test myself a little bit. So I felt like that's an intentional detail that they included that I really appreciated. Also, when you're studying the answer description, it restates the question options in the description. So like other question banks, I would scroll up, I'd read, okay, what did C say again? And then I'd go down and I'd read the description. Well, ComQuest, just a small detail, they put that in parentheses in every question description. It really helped, it was convenient, and it's, you know, it saved a lot of time. Some cons, I asked all my questions to ComQuest and they answered them. A lot of new changes are being made to ComQuest to include all of the user requested features. It really sounds like they've put a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of work into the next year's rollout. So I don't have a lot of cons. One thing I would like to see, um, in, in one question bank I used, there was a timestamp, a last updated date on each question. So if I ever doubted it that this question was out of date, I could go to that timestamp and I could see, oh, you know, this was updated quite recently. Um, ComQuest doesn't have that. Though I didn't really doubt many questions, it would be a nice feature to have. Based on the most recent surveys that ComQuest gives their students, 97.1% of students say they would recommend this product to their friend. So it shows that most people are actually really happy with the money they spent and with the, the experience that they had and the knowledge they gained from ComQuest. Their average board score on the Comlex was a 551 and the, the national average is about a 500. So it shows that the smart people are getting smart from ComQuest. They also offer a money back guarantee. Currently it's for people who use it for six months or more, but in the future it's going to be for anyone who finishes the entire question bank. And that's just an added bonus because, you know, not that we just want to pass, I mean we want to do really well on the boards, but knowing that if we don't pass, like their product didn't work for us, we get our money back. Users have submitted requests 
and Comquest has done a huge amount of work and they're just about to release a new product that has just about every feature that students could possibly want that, that is legitimate. Other than that, um, I really liked using ComQuest. Of all the question banks I used, I felt ComQuest prepared me more than any other question bank for Comlex Level 1, and I really do feel like it is the U world for DOs. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, stick around for more great videos.